Guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are well. I hope you guys are staying safe. Uh, guys, I've got some news here that I wanted to talk about. It says here Gennady Golovkin is filing a lawsuit against Golden Boy. Claims that they still owe him three um, owe him money from Canelo Alvarez rematch. Golovkin is seeking three million in damages steaming stemming sorry from the 2018 fight with Canelo Alvarez. It says here Gennady Golovkin is supposed to have be having his next fight against Royal Morata on April 9th, but now has another battle as the middleweight champion sues Golden Boy Promotions over his 2018 rematch with Canelo Alvarez. ESPN reports that Golovkin is seeking a minimum of $3 million in damages, requesting interest of $9 million. Golden Boy still owed him as of January 2021 as part of his financial upside of the pay-per-view event. But Golovkin says the $9 million figure owed to him was still erroneous and about $1.375 million short as evidenced as revised accounting document from Golden Boy. Golovkin is said to have been entitled to 45% of total gross revenues stemming from the bout, from tickets sold, sponsorship, P pay-per-view sales, closed circuit. After Golden Boy took the first 2.5 million from net sales and Golovkin claiming breach of contract and uh, fiduciary duty, among other things, he's looking to head to jury a trial. Wow. So as you can see, Golovkin feels that he's been shortchanged here and he is suing Golden Boy Promotions. Um, quite interesting. I don't know what you guys make of that. Um, obviously, we know that, you know, Golovkin is going to be, he's guaranteed a third Canelo fight. Um, and this is, this is definitely news uh, to me. Um, I, did, I, I thought Golovkin would have been paid in full, but obviously... I think Golden Boy haven't been doing that well financially since the since Canelo left, and I can't remember when did Canelo leave a couple of years ago. Um, so it's left a big void in their business. It left a big hole in their business because he was their main cash cow. He was their main star, and they haven't really got that marquee name. I think he was their major star that they had. Everybody else is kind of like up and coming stars, like you know Virgil Ortiz, Ryan Garcia, and they were building on Fort Munguia. But unfortunately, they haven't been able to develop those guys as of right now. They're still developing. So they probably would have liked Canelo to go on a few more years before Ryan Garcia was, you know, be sorry, before Canelo Alvarez left. And one of those other guys had, you know, manifested into a huge star. But unfortunately, that hasn't happened. They're still building and they're still managing their careers quite safely because Golden Boy haven't got the fighters they used to have. Golden Boy used to have virtually everyone back in the day. You know, I remember when Golden Boy had literally everyone. Now Golden Boy have don't have a lot of fighters. Um, so this news doesn't come as a huge shock that they do have probably some financial void or some, they, they, they lack, you know, they don't have the financial, you know, clout that they once had. Um, but, you know, Golovkin is seeking damages. He feels, you know, he hasn't been paid. So he feels that, you know, he, want, he wants to seek all the damages and the claims that, you know, he's owed. So he's going to be he's going to be taking this further. Look, uh, Golovkin now, Golovkin's not going to be short of cash. But if he's owed something, he should go for it. He should, you know, uh, get compensated for everything that, you know, he's owed. But I think Golovkin is is now, um, for me, he going into a fight with Morata, which is going to pay him very well. Then he's got a, a trilogy with Canelo Alvarez. So one thing we know that Golovkin is gonna he's gonna finish off his career now. I think from a financial point of view, he's gonna finish his career rich, which I think he deserved to you know be with how great he was as a fighter. But also he's gonna get the opportunity to redeem himself now. Whether he's gonna be good enough, I think he's gonna get the Marquez Pacquiao moment where he's gonna get an opportunity to redeem himself against Canelo. I don't think he'll do it. I think he'll get beat, and I think he may even get stopped. Uh, in the re in the trilogy, but he's getting that opportunity so he can walk away and say, you know what, I got my opportunity. You know, he's going to get his chance against Canelo Alvarez again. And I feel happy for Golovkin. And even though I'm not that interested in that trilogy fight, and a lot of people aren't, for Golovkin, I feel happy. For Golovkin, I feel very happy because I feel like he was owed that opportunity. Because of the way the first two fights went, you have to say that Golovkin was owed that opportunity. Uh... He didn't seem to have got it. 
uh, and people thought maybe he was going to get it or he's not going to get it. Now it seems like obviously it's confirmed that it looks like he's going to be fighting um, uh, Canelo in the trilogy. So, you know, he's going to get that opportunity, which I feel happy for him. I'm happy for Golovkin because I feel, like I said, I think Golovkin's been hard done by. I do. I think Golovkin is a guy, for me, a top, top fighter, a great fighter, uh, one that we at times have probably taken for granted. Um, and people that say, oh, well, he's overrated. He never really fought anybody. Uh, but this is a guy that provided a lot of entertainment, one of the most remarkable fighters of this era, uh, Golani Golovkin, and one of the most feared men. Let's be honest, you know, he was a guy that was avoided left, right and centre by everybody, you know. Um, and, you know, people say Canelo avoided Golovkin as well. He did, but the thing is, that a reason why I don't want to cut Canelo slack on that, although he did vacate his belt, is that Canelo fought him twice and now he's going to fight him a third time so eventually he did fight him so you've got to give Canelo that credit I think if Canelo didn't fight him I think then you could have cut Canelo more slack but you know eventually Canelo initially Canelo did you know avoid him he did throw his w vacate his WBC title but then he took that challenge on you got to respect that I respect I respect Golovkin man the guys the guys are warrior the guys had a great career man he's a great fighter great fighter and one that's given me a lot of entertainment you know Golovkin became a very star attraction in America where people started viewing him and started getting like how is this guy gonna get beat he's so good he's his feet are so good you know he's such a good pressure fight hit so hard and you know what I've never seen Canelo being pushed like Mayweather of course that was early on but Golovkin for me pushed Canelo in both those fights and Canelo was struck like Canelo was struggling you could see on his face that he he found those fights very difficult with Golovkin they were very nip and tuck, hard fights, you know, and hence why I think he deserves a trilogy. Let's not forget there's a lot of people out there that think Canelo, I mean, Golovkin won both those fights. You know, I don't. I thought we won the first one and I thought Golovkin, oh, I mean, Canelo won the second. But, you know, he got a draw in the first one and he got lost in the second, which I think is, I think for me, I think, I think it would have been fair if it was 1-1, you know, because I do think Golovkin won the first one. Um... And that's why I always look at Golovkin as a great, because for me, he beat Canelo, although on paper he didn't. Even to get a draw with Canelo, I think that says how good Golovkin was. So people that say Golovkin's overrated, if you say Golovkin's overrated, then you think Canelo's overrated because Golovkin pushed Canelo and got a draw with him, which many feel that he won, right? And then Canelo won a very tight decision against him in the second fight. You know, the second fight wasn't comfortable. It was a hard fight. So you must respect Golovkin and what Golovkin did. Golovkin's a great fighter, somebody that I'm always going to respect, somebody that I'm always going to look up to, somebody that I'm always going to think, oh, wow, what a fighter. You know, and I'm always going to look back at Golovkin and think he was a great fighter. Some people say he's not an all-time great, he doesn't have a resume. That's what some people say. But, you know, at the end of the day, for me, in his era, he was dominant. He beat everybody up. And it wasn't the fact that he was facing world-level guys in around his division. It was the way he was beating them. He was battering them from left. Like, look at what he did David Lemieux. I'm not saying David Lemieux is a top-tier fighter, but he totally demolished him. You know, that was an unbelievable performance. And I remember, Golovkin kind of entered the pro ranks late. He didn't really get that opportunity. And I believe Golovkin would have been a nightmare for anybody in the history in the middleweight division. Golovkin would have been a problem because Golovkin was just a great pressure fighter. Uh, you know, he was a special pressure fighter, very technically sound, very great, great fighter. Unfortunately, he's somebody that I don't think is, when you look back at his career, it won't look as great as some of the other greats of the past because, like I said, he didn't have the resume. And against Canelo, he's got a draw and a loss on his record. And a lot of people thought that they those fights would be the springboard for Golovkin to go on to the superstardom. Unfortunately, they were the springboard for Canelo to go on to superstardom uh, because Canelo and came out the better out of those two fights. And since then, Canelo's just gone from strength to strength to strength to strength. He looks almost unbeatable now, whereas Golovkin has kind of declined the opportunities that you've been inactive. So Golovkin has gone the other way. Do you know what I mean? Whereas people probably thought after the Canelo fight, Golovkin will get his credit because most a lot of people were thinking Golovkin would knock Canelo out. I always knew Golovkin won't knock Canelo out. And I, I, I like Canelo more than Golovkin, so I wanted Canelo to win. But I was so impressed with how good Golovkin was. So good. Golovkin was so good in those Canelo fights. So good, so good. He was impressive to me. And I, I became a fan after that because I realized I knew how good Canelo was. 
And I realized that this guy just put, in, I thought he lost, like I'm, I wanted Canelo to win. I thought he lost the first fight. That ultimately made me respect because I, I, I knew how good Canelo is. So if I know how good Canelo is, and I just think Golovkin's beaten him, my respect for Golovkin went through the roof because I realized that this guy's no hype job or this, guy, this guy's not overrated. This guy's a proper world-class elite fighter. When people say, like, Frotch would have beaten him and stuff like that, man, I laugh. This guy would have destroyed most fighters. You know, the only guys that probably would have beaten Golovkin are probably a Ward or maybe someone like that. But even that, I wouldn't have been sure if Ward would have beat him. I think he would have been a problem for Ward. I think he would have been a problem for anybody in the history in that division. Golovkin's not an easy fight for anybody. Hagler, Hearns, Leonard, um... Roy Jones, Golovkin's not an easy fight for anyone. Let, let me put that out there. He's not. He's not an easy fight for anyone. Respect to Golovkin. Uh, I wish Golovkin all the best. Um, but let me know your thoughts about this situation. Um, let me know what you think. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.